Barbary Lion versus Kodiak Bear. Who would win a fight between these two titans? In the realm of majestic creatures that have captured the imagination of humanity, few rival the awe-inspiring presence of the Barbary Lion and the Kodiak Bear. The Barbary Lion, once the undisputed monarch of North Africa, and the Kodiak Bear, a behemoth of the Alaskan wilderness, stand as living testaments to the raw power and captivating beauty found in the animal kingdom. What do they look like? Adult male Barbary lions typically weighed between 400 to 600 pounds, 180 to 270 kilograms, with exceptional specimens surpassing these estimates. They stood at the shoulder about 3.5 feet, 1.1 meters, and had a body length of approximately 8 feet, 2.5 meters, excluding the tail. The Barbary lion's coat was a tawny or light sandy color, and its mane, a defining feature, was often larger and darker than those of other lion subspecies, ranging from dark brown to black. The mane extended down the chest and under the belly, creating a distinctive and regal appearance. Known for their robust build and muscular strength, Barbary lions were formidable predators. Adult male Kodiak bears typically weigh between 900 to 1600 pounds, 410 to 730 kilograms, with exceptional individuals exceeding these estimates. Standing on their hind legs, they can reach heights of around 10 feet, 3 meters. Kodiak bears possess a distinctive hump on their shoulders, which is a muscle mass used for digging and foraging. Their fur varies in color, ranging from blonde to dark brown, and can even appear reddish. The fur is dense and provides insulation, crucial for survival in the harsh Alaskan climate. These bears have large, powerful limbs and paws equipped with sharp claws, measuring around 4 inches, 10 centimeters in length. Where do they live? The historic range of the Barbary, or Berber lion, was in North Africa's Atlas Mountains, ranging roughly 1,600 miles across Morocco's Rif Mountains, Algeria's Kasur and Amor Ranges, and Tunisia's Ores Mountains. They also roamed the Barbary Coast, Libya, and Egypt, which is why it is also known as the Egyptian lion. Unfortunately, they are no longer found in the wild. The last reported shooting of a Barbary lion occurred in 1942 in a mountain pass in Tizian Tishka, Morocco's High Atlas. The Kodiak bear is only found in a small portion of the earth. They can be found in the Kodiak Archipelago, an isolated group of islands in southern Alaska. Kodiak Island is the largest island in the archipelago. It is the second largest island in the United States and is thought to be the center of the Kodiak bear's range. Because food is plentiful, bears reside in relatively high densities, and their home ranges overlap greatly. During the salmon season, it is not uncommon to see groups of bears gathering in a small area to eat on fish. What do they eat? Big cats are all carnivores with a predilection for bigger prey. They ate Barbary stag and gazelle in the Atlas Mountains and red deer and wild boar elsewhere. When these became rare, they would attack domestic livestock on farms such as sheep and cattle. This frequently resulted in a lethal clash with humans determined to safeguard their livelihoods. Unfortunately, their hunting methods were never accurately documented, but it is assumed that, like the Asiatic lion, they would kill their prey by strangulation and share the kill amongst their pride. Kodiak bears are omnivores, which means they have a varied diet consisting of both plant and animal matter. During certain times of the year, especially in the summer and early fall, when vegetation is abundant, plant matter can make up a substantial part of their diet. 
They hunt and eat fish, particularly salmon, which are a major food source for them. They also prey on small mammals like rodents and occasionally hunt larger mammals such as deer. They are known to scavenge carcasses, including those of marine animals like whales and seals. Kodiak bears do not typically engage in active hunting like some predators do. Instead, they often rely on their keen sense of smell to locate food sources, and they may ambush prey if the opportunity presents itself. The majority of their diet is composed of easily available food sources, such as fish during the salmon runs. How do they behave in the wild? Barbary lions exhibited behaviors typical of lions. They were social animals and lived in groups known as prides. A typical pride consisted of related females, their offspring and a coalition of males. Barbary lions were territorial and fiercely defended their hunting grounds. Like other lions, Barbary lions were primarily crepuscular and nocturnal, meaning they were most active during the dawn and dusk hours. Lionesses within a pride played a central role in rearing the cubs. Mothers provided protection and guidance, teaching the young lions essential hunting and surviving skills. The strong bonds formed within the pride contributed to the overall success and stability of the group. Kodiak bears, like other brown bear subspecies, exhibit a range of behaviors that are adapted to their environment and lifestyle. Kodiak bears are generally solitary animals. These bears, like other brown bears, go through a period of hibernation during the winter months when food is scarce. Kodiak bears use various forms of communication, including vocalizations, body language, and scent marking. These forms of communication are crucial for signaling aggression, establishing dominance, or attracting mates. Female Kodiak bears exhibit strong maternal instincts. They give birth to small litters of one to three cubs, and the mother is highly protective of her offspring. The cubs typically stay with their mother for several years, learning essential survival skills before becoming independent. Now, what happens when one of the strongest lions come face to face with one of the strongest bears? Who would win a fight? Determining the outcome of a hypothetical fight between a Barbary lion and a Kodiak bear is challenging and largely speculative, as such confrontations do not occur in nature. Both the Barbary lion and Kodiak bear were apex predators in their respective ecosystems, each adapted to its own style of hunting and defense. The Barbary lion, with its powerful build, sharp claws, and social hunting strategies, was well suited to taking down various prey in the African landscape. On the other hand, the Kodiak bear, being the largest subspecies of brown bear, possesses immense strength, formidable size, and is well adapted to survive in the rugged Alaskan wilderness. Lions are generally more social and may rely on coordinated group efforts, while bears are known for their solitary nature and powerful physical abilities. Comparing them in a one-on-one -on -one scenario oversimplifies the complexities of their behaviors, strengths, and hunting techniques. Nature does not often present such direct confrontations between different species of apex predators. Bears have a layer of fat beneath their skin that serves as additional armor. This makes it far more difficult for a lion's teeth to pierce the bear's skin and give a fatal blow. The lion would also try to grab the bear by the throat, but these bears are actually incredibly handy and strong with their front legs and they'd tear the lion apart if he tried. Attacking the bear in the neck or back is also impractical due to the bear's large layers of fat protecting him there. Bears can withstand a lot of damage before dying to their wounds. The lion may be faster, 
but the bear has much more stamina. With their weight advantage for Kodiak bears, the bear should win almost every time, which generally means the lion will flee as the bear won't be fast enough to keep up.